Hi all. We're going to do a video, or probably we're going to do a series of videos on how to write a melody for a song. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump right in. Uh, to start with some basics, okay, we got a blank, blank piece of paper here, right? Whenever you write, the hardest thing to do is just to get started. Hardest thing is the blank piece of paper. Okay, so f it's nice just to start with some basic stuff to start filling up the papers. Okay, so I'm gonna write everything in C. You know, uh, that's a pretty common practice. You know, write your melodies in C. And then you can put them in another key. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the key of C. Okay, so to get started with our blank piece of paper, I'm going to just start with the key of C. So we'll go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay. So we got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's just Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Okay. So th this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Okay. So one, three, and five. C, E, G, C, E, G, that would be our major chord. That, that's just a regular C chord. Okay, so when you're writing a melody, and we're mainly talking a vocal melody here, uh, but it would apply to any melody. Those are our most important notes. C, E, G, 1, 3, 5. That's for the the key is C. Okay. Okay, now, what we're mainly talking about is eight measure lines. So I'll just draw eight measures here. There's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you usually break these up into two measure phrases. Every song is different, but uh, we'll go two measure phrases. So this would be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay, and so on. So we got two measure phrases. This would be a phrase, this would be a phrase, this would be a phrase, and this would be a phrase. So two measure phrases. And there again, every song is different, but most of the time, you know, we're talking two measure phrases. You know, there's always the creative thing, things will be different, but, you know. Okay, so four beats in a measure. Most songs are four beats in the measure, right? Four, four time. So, if we if we were gonna go with this, you know, key of C, we'd go one, two, three, four. That would be the first measure. So one, two, three, four. That would be the second measure. Third, third measure. And fourth measure. Okay, so I'm starting out real, real simple here. Just uh, 
so everyone can follow what we're doing. So I just went C, 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 E, 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 G, G, C, C, and then C, 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 C. Okay? So one, C, E. Okay. Now, of course, we're going to fancy that up a little bit, so just follow along here. And, you know, of course, we're going to use all of the notes. So, usually, when you write a melody, it's uh, from, from C to C is an octave, right? Plus a third, so then so then we'll go uh, we'll add a D and an E here. See, so like from C to E is a third, right? So we're adding that up here. So eight, nine, ten. You can go up to a fifth, but that makes it real hard to sing. You know, most of the time it's an uh, octave and a third. So we'll go octave, and a third. Once in a while you'll hear about singers can sing two or three octaves, but uh, that's kind of like a hype thing. Uh, go to your local music stores or go down to the library and flip through their songbooks you can see the notes they're actually singing on the vocal melody and most of them stick like right around this range here so not always but most of the time okay so you know i'm a guitar player mainly but I know a little bit about piano and drums and things like that too, so that kind of helps. When it comes to writing a vocal melody, I'm still more comfortable on the keyboard. It just makes it easier to see. You know. But you know, each song is different. Sometimes you start on the guitar, sometimes you start on the keyboard, you know. Do it on your instrument of choice, you know. So, yeah. and for me, I kind of like just a standard piano sound, but it's nice to use other exotic sounds, you know, that's a personal preference, so, so you know. <laughs> so I'm kind of working around the camera here so I, can, so I can keep the camera right in front of the keyboard. So you have to excuse me if I seem a little awkward here. So, so if we were going to fancy these things up, how would we go about doing it? You know, it's a creative thing. You know, try to make it catchy. Sometimes it comes out good. Sometimes it comes out stupid. You know, if you get one phrase, one good phrase a day, you're doing great. You know, it may take you a week or more to get a good eight measure line so so just a you know I'm just randomly throwing things out. Now there was one or two in there that kind of sounded good. But at that speed, that might be kind of hard to sing. You know, if you think about it, you know, for every note, you're singing a syllable in a word, usually. So you'll see, if you go look at some famous songs, just go, go down to the library and get a, those fake books, they're real big, 
thick books of songs, they call them thick books, or even like a, a song book from one of your favorite artists, you'll see that lots of times they're singing you know, the, the same note, you know. I just heard one hit song on the radio just a couple of days ago, and it was like, you know, something real similar to that, you know, that's the vocal melody, you know, it works, you know, it may not become a, a hit that lasts forever, but it's a real popular song now, you know, those type of things work. What I like to do, I have an old sequencer here. This guy here. And uh, I've had that since the uh, mid-90s or, or so. And uh, it's been sitting in the basement a while and it still works. So I have a drum track that I made on it. And it's, a, it's like the simplest drum track. Okay. And that's at a tempo of 80. If I want, I could speed it up, you know. There's a tempo of 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Tempo of 120, you know. That would be, that would be really fast. This thing. But uh, we're going to start at 80. Yeah. 80. 100, 120, that seems to be the three main spots. But, you know, there again, you know, it's a personal preference. Okay. So. pulling these off the top of my head so getting back to this eight measure line yeah. usually phrase one and phrase three are the same so one and three are the same okay phrase one phrase three so one two three and four Phrase two and four are different. They could be somewhat similar, you know, but uh, that's more of a personal preference. But one and three should be the same. Once in a while you'll hear them that all four of them are exactly the same. Uh, really popular in pop music, so. But uh, we're, we're talking a, a real vocal melody here. So one and three are the same, two and four are different, okay?